Uh huh. Bye, birds. Easy going world. Welcome back to Nomadius. The name I was giving is Thaddeus. Thank you all for tuning into today's journey. As we tune into today's destination, Lake Hora, Hora Lake, here in Bishoftu, also known as Deborah's Lake, Ethiopia. Uh, Deborah's Lake is actually surrounded by 15 craters, uh, five of them which are permanently filled with water, this being one of them. Uh, the last video was another one, uh, Lake Babogaya. So uh, let's see what uh, we find along the journey. Today's topic is about how you can only really be present in this moment once. So once you're aware of your presence and once you're aware of the moment, you know, and you've taken your time to figure out your desires and what you want to manifest and what you want to apply your energy, you have to know that you got to put your energy in motion. So, um, Start before I get into that about being present in this moment. Once I want to show you all, this is actually uh, a hyena's home. I don't want to get too far in. Uh, another name we call it here is Ayajibo. Um, yeah, so this was just pointed out to me, um, and I just felt like recording it because I'm only going to be present in this moment once. So, to give you all a little bit of an uh, insider, my dad actually grew up in this uh, area. And this is the lake that he actually learned to first swim in. As you can see, the people are doing here to my left. As you can see, about to take another little journey onto the lake. To be honest, I'm not really sure uh, where this is gonna take us, but uh, no, it's all about uh, the ride to our destination. So. Enjoy the journey. Yeah. Look at the kingfisher right there. Oh, wow. uh, my friend Yuan. Shout out to Yuan for actually putting me on the game with this whole YouTube thing. Um, and uh, he was just talking to me about how he uh, he applied for this job at, uh, at a BMW uh, car dealership. And he said he hopes he gets it. And the first thing that put to me was how he needed to change his mentality. Because when you start to apply yourself to certain places that you desire, your energy has to already be in motion. So I told him, you got the job, what's next? And that's the mentality that I've had probably for the past two years that's gotten me to be exactly in this moment. Whenever I desire a job or a place to be or a scholarship, internship, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. I never have the mentality that I hope I get it. I already know it's mine, so you put the energy into motion. Before I even apply for a job, or I just see the application and, and within my heart, I feel that I know it's mine. The first step is, is the thing here, so know that it's yours. Once it's yours, you put that energy into motion, and you let the rest carry on. Welcome to our next destination. These trees were actually planted by John Hoy, also known as King Haile Selassie. Uh, above us, 
this is the door. Uh, this is the place to stay. And uh, it's pretty beautiful to see roots like this. I'm not sure if you all know, but uh, trees actually communicate to each other through their roots. And um, not only, it's, it's how they send messages to each other. It's how they send messages throughout the whole nature system, actually. Um, so it's actually pretty, pretty beautiful to see it so exposed like this because you don't really realize how much how much this is actually under everything you walk on. So this is actually partly why I really have made a commitment to myself to never litter, just to be very kind to everywhere I go because you never really know what you're on top of, what you know, what's what's really going on around you. So that's why I like to just give grace to to the whole nature uh, because you know it's so much deeper than you think it is let alone so much higher than you think it is Aye! Ane ni mite o jo awak aji darak unjat la ya mite o komoran ti bala. Ii komoran tengkere agro difunno anda mite o asam ini magabo lela nager ini magabo nager illa. Anda mesti tahu muka asal lagi anu jenis asal yang umum malah kan? Agro defend. Ah, agro last kita nama apa yang anu daya berapa gal? Jadi mai itu mama nuik bala na. Wow, it just wow, it wow, and gone like that. Like that makes me. What the heck? Where did it just go? So these are actually cormorants, and actually we have these in Monterey Bay. I've seen them myself. Pretty interesting. Wow, look at these. Beautiful and uh, here we're approaching a fisherman who's actually using an inner tube as his boat. As he. Salam. Salam no. Salam no. And date no. And then no asa. See that? That's fun. Really all we're doing is creating a tool to help us move through the world, whether it's creating a car which has wheels that helps us move or <laughs> whatever it is, whether it's you being a bird that has wings to help you move through the sky. We all have tools that help us move through this world. So sometimes I ask myself, what tools do I have to help myself move through this world? I know I have my mind, I know I have my body, I know I have spirit, I know I have my soul. So ask yourself, what tools do you have that help you move through this world? Like where? <laughs> like where my bros at? Where my bros at? Where the bros at? Where y'all at? 
Oh, y'all not, y'all not finna, y'all not gonna come with me? Y'all not coming? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. I see. If you guys can see here, this is a naturally occurring facial structure. See, we, we have a, we have a, we have a eye. You got an eye right there. You got an eye right there. And you got the nose right there. A naturally occurring face. Makes me question, you know, our destiny, human so, destiny. See right here, this uh, face. Makes me. Uh, no, this is perfect. It makes me. It, may, it, it brings up the question that I've always asked about how we always say this idea of man-made, and when we talk about man-made, we think of it as some. We think of ourselves as something separate from nature. Ah, but man came from nature, and this year is a uh, literally nature-made version of man, which makes me question the whole idea of man made in our destiny and just being this planet and our, everything that we do and how just divine timing and how beautiful life really can be. Would you look here? Got a fast learning student. Aye, man level, man level. Huh? Little beanie, little beanie, Captain Little Beanie. People, they're gonna hold me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little penny, you know that? <laughs> Fast today. Welcome aboard uh, Nomadius. My name is Captain Thaddeus. Mm -hmm. Here in a horror lake, ending the journey soon. Fast learner, I would say. Easy, easy schmeezy. Or as I like to say, easy going world. Just want to end this video by saying I'm thankful for making it back safely. So you can see, thankful to Captain Johannes for giving us a beautiful tour. Thankful to the nature for allowing us to experience his beauty and thankful for oneness for all so you know just want to remind y'all that it's not about my journey because comparison is the thief of joy and so just ask yourself where does your journey take you and just remember world the sun is rising the trees are growing the leaves are blowing and the water's flowing. So get out there. Because you are still living life. Nomadius. Ow. Huh? And chat. Antes, it's kind of interesting because I can actually picture my dad being one of these kids when he was young. Let's see. <laughs> Hulat, sauce. Is she? And hulat. Achilum. Antes.
<laughs> oh, that was Truno. Uh, uh, he's made his own little floaties out of the water bottle. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, ask them what they want to say to the world. Ask them, ask them, ask them. Ask them. Mino, ask them for me. Bamaringa. Well, I know he wants money. Good, ask him. Bamaringa. Minna to the world. What do you want to say to the world? Sama. 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 Sama.